In this question, we are given that O is the center of the circle and we are asked to prove the following. So is this going to be proportionality or similarity? Well, there's not really any parallel lines, so and there's no parallel lines within triangles like this, so it's typically going to be similarity. Next step is then to decide which triangles would need to work in. Well, AC squared, this part here, should tell us that it's two different triangles that both have AC. So obviously then it's going to be this triangle as well as this triangle. So now our goal is to prove that those two triangles are similar. So we're going to be working in triangle. I'm just going to choose this one. So that's AOC and triangle. Then the whole one I'll just call ABC. The order does not matter there. Okay, let me just write that again. There we go. The order doesn't matter as we said because we're just trying to let the teacher know which triangles we are working in. So what we can start off with is in both of those triangles they both share this angle over here. So we can say that angle A is equal to angle A and that is common. Next we know that this angle here is 90 degrees but we also know that this angle is 90 degrees. So let's say that first. Now this angle over here, we can't say C because that could be this part, this part. But because we want the whole thing, then we would have to use A, C, B. And we're going to say that that's 90 degrees. Why? Angles in semicircle. Because, it, because this is the diameter, this line over here. So any angle that it forms on the circumference is 90 degrees. So then we can say that therefore angle ACB will be equal to this angle here. Uh, that angle is going to be AOC. We can't just say O. AOC and that, yeah, so we don't have to give a reason for that because we've sort of just shown it. Then we've done two angles, so that was the first one, this is the second one. So the third one is automatically the same because of angles in a sum of angles in a triangle. So in this left triangle we've used this one and we've used this one, but we haven't used that one. So we can say angle ACO is going to be equal to, in the other triangle we've used this one, no not that one, we've used this one in the big triangle and we've also used this whole side but we haven't used that so we'll just say angle B and the reason for that is sum of angles in triangle and so we can say therefore triangle I'm just gonna call this one AOC is similar to now we must get the order right well the big triangle um, its angle well what matches angle A well they both share angle A so those are the same Angle O, which is this one and the small one, is the 90 degree. Well, that's this angle in the big one, because we said that that's 90. So that's going to be C. And then the only other angle that we have in the big one is B. So that will be B. And the reason for that is angle, angle, angle. Remember, now's a good time to form your ratios. So you say AO over AC equals to AC over AB equals to A... Oh, no, I've used that one already. We can say OC over CB. And the reason for that is that the corresponding sides are in proportion. And so now we need to look at what they want. They want AC, so I'm going to circle all the ACs. There it is, and there it is. And they want AB and AO, so AB, AO. So I just say AO over AC is equal to AC over AB. I then do cross multiplying and that's going to give me AO times AB is equal to AC to the power of 2 and that is the final answer.